Okay, so today we are going to have a quick discussion about the new special Heroes Dragonstone 2, which you can use to exchange for one of these units in the Bob Shop. And uh, just in case you guys didn't know, this is not for free to play players because to get the stone, you do have to purchase a Dragonstone pack. So if you guys are completely free to play, then feel free to uh, click off this video right now. So as you can see, I currently don't have one of these stones because I'm on the fence about whether I want to buy one since I already have uh, all of these units. So if I do get a stone, it would be for a dupe, which is, I feel like just not great value. But if you are missing quite a few of these units, especially the ones I'm about to highlight, then uh, it might be worth it for you, right? So uh, in total, there are like, I don't know, 20 or so units to choose from. It definitely can be a little bit overwhelming. And uh, in terms of like which one to choose, I think it depends on if you want to take a patient approach or a long-term approach and like wait for one of these units to eventually get an Extreme Sea Awakening next year, or if you want to use the best unit right now. And assuming that most of you guys want to get the best unit right now, the ones that I would really highly recommend are uh, number one, I think Int Super Saiyan 4 Gohan is possibly your best choice because this guy is arguably the best tank in the entire pool. He's arguably the best tank of any hero's unit available right now. And the craziest thing is that he doesn't even have an Extreme Z Awakening yet. Okay, he got a Doken Awakening this year and he's really, really strong. But next year, I think he's most likely gonna get that Extreme Z Awakening and be even better. And this dude um, is just, is just awesome. I mean, as far as damage goes, I mean, he's still hitting pretty hard. I'm getting him up to like 4.5, 5 mil attack stat, but defensively, he's essentially taking double digits from like everything, you know, even against like harder enemies in red zone, you know, taking supers, he's still tanking those really, really well. So if you want just a all around really powerful unit offensively and especially defensively, I think Super Saiyan 4 Gohan is an amazing choice. So that would be my first recommendation. Number two, uh, a unit that just got an Extreme Z Awakening is the, uh, let's see, where did he go? Oh, this guy right here, the STR Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku, similar to the Gohan, good damage output, but his defense is where he really shines. And this guy gets guard, he gets damage reduction, he is also one of the best tanks in the entire, uh, I mean, of all like Dragon Ball Heroes units. So he's also another amazing choice. Um, of course, you wanna do his Extreme Z Awakening to make him as uh, good as possible. But yeah, once you get that EZA done, he is just a monster. Um, after that, uh, another guy that I would take a look at is the Super Saiyan 4 Bardock. Now, Super Saiyan 4 Bardock uh, has been getting some flack because of his defense, and it's actually not bad. I mean, after he supers, he's getting like 400k defense, right? But he doesn't get damage reduction, he doesn't get guard, so he will take quite a bit of damage in harder events if he gets supered, right? So that might be an issue for some people, but his damage output is very, very impressive. He's getting uh, guaranteed attacks effective against all types at 70% uh, HP or more, and then above 90% HP, he's getting guaranteed crits. So of course, when you're building him, you wanna give him as many additionals as possible. And uh, with those additional supers, you know, each super getting over like six mil attack stat, he's hitting really, really hard. And defensively, like I said, his defense is not bad. His defense is not bad. It's not like the best, you know, uh, of the units here by far, but get some good defense. And then his damage output, I feel like more than makes up for his, you know, slight lack of defense. So I think Bardock's really good. And just like the Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, no Extreme Z Awakening yet. So, uh, you know, he's going to be even better with that EZA most likely next year with the next collab, right? So... Uh, definitely a great choice in the Super Saiyan 4 Bardock. And then 
Um, I think the STR Cialis right here, or Cialis, I don't really know how to say his name. I still haven't looked it up. I probably should, but this dude right here, he is just an all-around beast with the Extremes the Awakening. Um, not much more to say, you know, great damage, great defense, uh, just really, really strong and uh, wouldn't be a bad choice, maybe a little bit limited compared to the other ones I talked about because, you know, for the Super Saiyan 4 uh, Gohan and Bardock and also the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Goku, you can still run them on other teams, right? Like Pure Saiyans or Goku's Family or uh, Giant 8 Power and so on and so forth. Whereas this guy, not as many categories, right? So basically kind of limited to Dragon Ball Heroes crossover or a couple of the other categories but uh, he doesn't have as many teams compared to some of the other guys. And um, if you guys want support, if you want supports, we got two really, really amazing supports. Uh, the first one is the Supreme Kai of Time. She just got a crazy Extremes Awakening support wise where she gives up to, uh, I think he plus two attack and defense plus 52% for all types, for all allies, making her one of the best all-around support in the entire game so if you want just an amazing support unit to run on your heroes team crossover team or possibly realm of gods then uh she is definitely worth a look because her support passive is just insane you know so uh that's a great choice for support same thing with the uh golden cooler uh somewhere yep this guy right here the golden cooler now he's more specific to dragon ball heroes where he gives attack and defense plus 40 percent um but he's also more offensive than the supreme kai of time so he can launch up the three supers he's also better defensively because he gets damage reduction with each super for that turn so if you want a unit that's uh you know more than just support but can provide a lot of support for dragon ball heroes then this is a good choice as well uh, who can also you know do some damage and also do some tanking right so uh golden cooler is also excellent um this great same man three great same man three is an interesting one he's essentially like a better version i feel like of the agl super vegito um his counters are incredibly incredibly powerful and he just hits really hard overall because of the counters right but He's still quite reliant on being on a time traveler's team, okay? To get the most out of him, to get like the majority of his buff basically on his passive, you still need to run a full time traveler's team. So in that sense, he's quite limited. And uh, if you guys want to, you know, um, have a unit that can maybe have a little bit more versatility, then I feel like is not the best choice right now for that reason. Of course, you can run a lot of Time Traveler's units on your Dragon Ball Heroes team. Um, so in that sense, you know, maybe if you have the, the required units, then it'd be fine. But uh, I just feel like he is a little, a little bit more limited than some of the other options we talked about. So yeah, he's not a bad choice, but just keep, a, uh, keep the Time Traveler's restriction in mind with him. And from there, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Xeno uh, Vegeta, not as good as Goku, but he does hit pretty hard. And of course, he's a great pairing with the Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku. So if you have Goku already, then Vegeta could also be a good pickup just for a partner, right? And uh, yeah, some of the older EZAs too, like these guys right here. The, the issue with these guys is that I don't want to recommend them because you can get them with the blue... Uh, coins, right? So if you are missing like the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks or you know Super Saiyan 3 Gohan slash Trunks and so on and so forth, they're not bad by any means. They're still usable uh, for sure, but um, I would rather like tell you to get them with blue coins as opposed to the Dragonstone, which you know costs a lot of money to get, right? So yeah, I wouldn't really take a look at these guys right now unless you know they're on the only ones you're missing at the moment uh, in the pool. And uh, yeah, we have a bunch of other units that have um, no Extreme Sea Awakenings right now, but could get amazing Extreme Sea Awakenings in the future. So, you know, taking a long term look, I think two units that, you know, uh, you'd be okay with like stashing for the time being could be the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito and the Super Saiyan 4 uh, Broly. Um, they've both aged 
quite a bit, you know, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito especially was like getting me killed in the new red zone event. I was hoping he would like do a little bit better defensively, but he was getting wrecked, okay? And I think the same thing would happen to the Super Saiyan 4 Broly. So these guys, while usable right now, um, are definitely kind of like stashes for the moment for their eventual Extremes Awakening next year. But if you guys already have like the units I talked about previously, then these two are worth considering. But once again, they're not the best right now, okay? And uh, yeah, of course, you got a bunch of other options. Uh, I'm not gonna like talk about every unit individually. Um, you know, every unit has like their own unique characteristics or aspects that make them good choices. But uh, going back to what I said in the beginning of the video, I think the Super Saiyan 4 Gohan and the Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku are probably your best options to pick right now. Like Fu is good, Cumber is good. Um, you know, any of the new EZAs are great, but they're not as good, in my opinion, as the ones that I highlighted in this video. So those are the ones that I recommend. Um, and, you know, ones like, you know, the other guys like the Super Saiyan, or sorry, the uh, Xeno Goku. Actually, he does go Super Saiyan, right? Yeah, he goes Super Saiyan. Okay, so the Super Saiyan Xeno Goku and the Super Saiyan Xeno Vegeta, um, you know, they're both great for support, but they don't have Extreme Z Awakenings yet, right? I don't think at least hold on i don't think so i don't think so anyways um the point is <laughs> the point is these guys will get eventual extreme z awakenings like the vajax and the gohanks and so on and so forth and uh, probably become really good but that's for the future if we're talking about right now you should go with like a super saiyan 4 gohan or a super saiyan 3 xeno uh vegeta or sorry xeno goku or a sealess Cialis or for an amazing support the Supreme Cap time is just one of the best supports in the game right now So those are definitely your best choices and uh, Yeah, that's basically all I gotta say. Hopefully this video Helped you guys out at least a little bit in making that decision with your special heroes Dragonstone 2 and uh, If you guys do end up getting the stone then let me know in the comments which one you decided to go with and uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is today's video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.